All right, we got ourselves a Calyrex. Uh, Iceman with the Ice Calyrex. That's pretty cool. Okay, so... Hmm. He has to bring his Ensign, right? He kind of does. And this is a funny position because I don't know how good... Um, I don't know how good Groudon is in this position. Or, I mean, in this game. No, Groudon is great, actually. Sorry. I don't know what I what I was just saying. Uh, Groudon is great in this. And then do I want Ensign? Or do I want Urshifu? I definitely don't bring the Venu. Definitely do not the, bring the Venu. But... I think Ensign might be the play here. I think Ensign might be the play here, but then how do I deal with the... No, I'm not worried about the Calyrex. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too worried about the Calyrex. So... Did I lock it in in time? I think I did. Okay, cool. Hopefully I did. Uh... So, I, I think outside of Trick Room, I, you know, I should outspeed. But we'll see here. Calyrex and Moltres. That's an interesting one. Uh, so that's funny because I don't really know what the, what the Calyrex does, right? I don't know what Ice Calyrex does. Hold on one second. Hold up. Calyrex Ice has Glacial Lance. And Glacial Lance is probably going to hit both targets. So then... I... I just go into Incent. Right? I reposition. Yeah, I reposition here. I'm going to protect. No. No. Let's see if I can get this off in time. I'm going to uh, smite and swap into Ensign. Did I get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? I did not get it. Oh my gosh. I hate when that happens, when you don't lock in the moves in time. That's just terrible. Terrible stuff. Well, uh, we'll see what they decided to go for, uh, for me. We're not going to see the Dynamax come out. Follow me comes out. Yeah, that would... I don't like that at all. And the Glacial Lance comes out. The good thing is we do not see it beat us. So Moltres is gone, which is great. And we do have a confused little thing right over there. Um, Hatterene loses HP. Man! I ha yeah, I wanted to swap in that Ensign. Hmm. Well, uh, Mindstorm comes out into the... I think the Mindstorm has to come out here. Right. And then I do have to swap in the Ensign. I do have to swap in the Ensign, for sure. <laughs> So, Indidi comes back. Insign comes out. And we should see the Intimidates pop off. Blop. Blop. Blue, 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 blue. Are we going to see the Protect? Rage Powder. Okay, that's good. So, I did the Mind Storm. So, that should be gone unless it has 
Uh, you know, Glacial Lance comes out, and we survive. Beautiful. Mindstorm comes out. And that one-shots it. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. We're in an excellent position here. Because, because, my friends, uh, he can't Dynamax at this point, right? What is this, Insin? Insin. Okay, he can't... Yeah, that's fine by me. Because he can Parting Shot me all he wants. Um... I think I have to max guard here and parting shot the Calyrex. Yeah. Yeah. Great stuff. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, he has to. And then I just keep cycling in the Ensign and then we're, we're in a very good position where we can just kind of stall out the Dynamax. So that's, st that's turn number one. He can't fake me out, which is beautiful. Yeah, he tried to parting shot me, but lo and behold, he did not. Um, I think I bring back the NDD. I think I bring back the NDD, yeah. But he is at minus two now, so the good thing is he's going to hit himself. He doesn't. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine by me. Indeedy gone. Indeedy gone. But Insin comes back out. And we're going to see another Intimidate off. So he's at neutral right now. Which is big. Right? He's at neutral right now. Uh, as long as he doesn't snap out of Confusion, he should be fine. I, I'm not entirely sure what I do in this position, though. Because I need to get damage off. So, let's see here. We see the Flare Blitz come off. Into the Insin. Which is definitely fine by me. Parting Shot comes off into the... Calyrex. Calyrex's special attack falls. And we're going to see Groudon come out. Which is big, right? Uh, because he can only attack one. He's probably going to go for the, the hat, which is, I think, a, probably the smarter thing to do. Hit yourself. Hit yourself. There you go. Beautiful. So then I Dazzling Gleam out. There we go. There we go. Hat holds on. And we are... Maybe I just let it go down. How many more turns of Psychic Terrain do I have left, I guess, is the question. Yeah, I think maybe I just let it go down. No, I can't let it go down. I can't let it go down. Because then he's going to... Precipice Blades here. I have to Precipice Blades here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see it. Let's see it. Hatterene comes back. And we are going to see the Intimidate come off and cycle back out. Calyrex attacks falls. Cinnaroar's attack falls. Cinnaroar is going to Flare Blitz into the... Into the Incin slot. Great. Great. We're making some great reads here. Um, Precipice Blades comes out, and we take care, take care of the, in, uh, sorry, the Calyrex. So, as long as he doesn't KO me, I think I should be fine. 
And I don't think that's enough to KO me. Yeah, that's definitely not enough to KO me. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So Groudon... Oh yeah, Groudon can't eat the berry. I forgot about that. Forgot about that. So here's what I do. I do have a fake out left. So I can fake this thing out and fire punch it. Um, now, I guess the question is, does this thing have weakness policy? And I hope it doesn't. Flinching cannot move. Good, 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 good. Sweet. So now I flare blitz into that and I bring Indeedy in. Groudon comes back. Hatterene comes out. You can take my, you can take it all you want because I outspeed you. Here comes the Flare Blitz. And that's game, beautiful. Woo, we take it, <laughs> we take it. Oh, that was scary. I, I mean, that's the first time I've seen the Calyrex, uh, the Ice Rider. I've seen the Ghost Rider a lot, but yeah, Insin is just such a beast. Okay. What the heck is that thing? Um, what the heck is that thing? Okay. So here's what I'm thinking, is that that's a uh, Ice Shard into the Sceptile, but is that a Zygarde? Zygarde, right? Zygarde, dragon and ground. What does that thing do? Hold on one second. Hold on one second here. Do I even have time to look this thing up? Hold on, hold on. I have a minute left. Zygarde. Zygarde, Zygarde, Zygarde. What the heck does that thing do? Oh, series eight preview, that's why. Sorry, I'm on Picolytics right now. Um, coil Poison, Thousand Arrows, Ground. Okay, okay. So, I think this has to be an NDD. That's physical attacker, right? Thousand Arrows. Yeah, that's an NDD, Hat, Groudon, Venusaur. Yeah, I, I mean, that's easy. Let's see. Let's see what Tom brings. <laughs> uh, I mean, props to Tom for using a Pokemon that I've never really seen before. Um, actually, I've never really seen a lot of these Pokemon, so shout out to all these guys, I guess. 999. That's what Tom looks like. <laughs> um, let's see if we can get Tom, though. Let's see if we can get Tom. The Ditto comes out, and it's an in... Oh, man. Okay. What is he copying? What is he copying? Uh, I mean, most likely that Scarf, right? He copies the hat. <sighs> okay. So... There's no way that that thing does Trick Room right now. There's no way that thing does Trick Room right now. Because then he's stuck on Trick Room. But if he does do Trick Room... I think I just... I don't even want to know what that thing does. I, I think I just want to nuke it. Withdraws it. Oh, man. <laughs> the Finny. Great, great, great call. Well, I feel like an idiot now. I feel like an idiot. I guess I didn't need to max right away. Mm. Oh well. Well, hopefully this guy sets up Trick Room. And then, um, you know, and then we're in a pretty good position here. But he did set up the terrain for me. Uh, I forget, did I helping him or did I follow me? I don't even remember. Helping hand, there we go, yeah. 
So maybe I can get rid of this thing. Uh, Dazzling Gleam comes out. That's not going to do much. I'm fine with that. Here comes the Smite. And Finny is gone. Beautiful. Okay. So one down. And I'm not too worried about the hat right now. Because I know he's stuck on Dazzling Gleam. And I have a thing in the back. I have a thing in the back. Um, and I think I, I think it's the same play, right? No, he has a... He has a... Okay. Yeah, I think it's the same play. I mean, he could protect, right? But he's not going to protect. We're not going to see the protect. We are going to see the... Um, we are going to see the max. Hmm. Yeah, that's a cool looking Pokemon right there. That is a very cool looking Pokemon. It's like a like a hexagonal little dragon thing. I don't even know if I use the right uh, the right shape. Hexagonal, hexagon. But uh, Quake comes out. I don't think that will beat me. Yeah, I eat. Hat eats. But he does get the special um, defense boost. So he's at plus two special defense boost right now. Dazzling Gleam comes out. We know that... Oh, man. Okay. So that's a crit on the hat. Um, Zygarde, yeah, okay. So, so I think we're in a pretty comfortable position here. Power Construct. What the heck? What the heck? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's really cool. All right. So I mean, that is a That's a max guard right here. I don't even want to deal with that thing. Can I see what this thing does? Power construct. That if this Pokemon is a Zygarde and is 10% or 50% form, it changes to complete form and has half or less. So that's the complete form then. Wow. Very, very cool. But uh, also very annoying. So. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I kind of have to, right? Oh man, I don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, I don't really know what to do in this position. Because I've, I've never seen that thing before. Max Quake comes out. into the Indiri. All right. So a special goes up. But either way, I should be able to um, get rid of that thing, right? Should be able to, I, I should be able to hit the Zygarde. Let's see, let's see here. I got my two in the back and we'll see what they can do. Um, I think a Precipice Blades is probably the play. Precipice Blades into a... Well, so we, we know he's stuck, right? He, we know the NDD is stuck. So that's the good thing. Is that it's stuck. So we can precipice blades here. What could, what potentially could this person have in the back? Um, I think I try to nuke this thing. Right? No, I try to, I try to sludge bomb the ditto. Withdraws, withdraws ditto. That's fine. Whatever's coming in is dead. Septile's dead. Sludge bomb comes off. Bop. 
super effective, weakness policy, whatever. As long as I hit it, I should be fine. I could also miss, which is a little bit scary. Thousand Arrows comes out, and it does nothing. Wow. Okay. Precipice Blades. Boom. That did nothing. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So the great thing now is that he can only hit one. Right, he can only hit one. The Ditto is going to come out and swap into the Venu. And... I think I have to. I think I have to. I should have probably... I should have doubled into it. I should have doubled into it. No, but the Ditto is probably a little bit more on the frail side, if I'm, if I'm guessing correctly. Um, and he has to figure out, do I want to hit the Groudon or do I want to hit the Venu? Uh, because the Venu, if he, if he does Weather Ball, he's locked into Weather Ball. And he is going to go for Weather Ball. Okay. Hmm. Well, he's, he's locked in there. And I survive. Beautiful. Beautiful. And that should maybe take him out. That should take him out. Yeah, the AV coming in clutch. <laughs> nice. Um, so then as long as he doesn't... <sighs> yeah, Groudon, Groudon should be able to sweep this thing up. All right. Wow, that's cool. I mean, I've never seen that thing before. So that was really interesting. And it's a crit. I don't think the crit mattered, but we will definitely take this. Uh, and we'll take this win. <laughs> we beat Tom. 999 nine, nine on a very close battle. All right, we're going to go up against... Uh, <laughs> we're going to go up against our own team here. Yikes. Hmm. Charizard is not something that I want to see at all. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so I think I want to start with Incin. Uh, do I want to start? Yeah, I want to start with Incin for sure. Uh, Incin NDD. No, Incin Hat looks really good actually. Incin Groudon? I'm so scared of that um, that Charizard because that Charizard can deal tons and tons and tons of damage to me, uh, and I can't really hit it. Now that I'm looking at my team, so I think I have to go Incin Groudon here. Urshifu and Indidi in the back. I don't think I bring Venu. Venu does not look good in this position. So, or not in this position. I mean, it doesn't look good in this matchup. Um, yeah, this is not gonna, this is gonna be a little bit of an unfun matchup. Not fun, not so fun because I have nothing really to counter that Charizard. So if he leads Charizard, he leads in Sin Groudon. And I lead in Sing Groudon. <laughs> Sweet! Whoever's, whoever Zyla is out there, good stuff, man. Good stuff. So. I think what I can do then is I can set up for a I can I can set up for a um, parting shot onto the Groudon and a Swords Dance, right? Or is that greedy? That might be greedy, but we'll see it. We'll see what happens here. 
Groudon uses Swords Dance. And my Groudon uses Swords Dance. <laughs> this is fun. This is fun. <laughs> We're having fun here. He's going to use Parting Shot. Or I'm going to use Parting Shot for sure. And he's going to use Parting Shot. I bet. And I'm gonna use parting shot. He's gonna use parting shot, I bet. Yeah, yeah. Let's see it, let's see it. And the parting shot comes off. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is like the Spider-Man meme right here, like, you know? And then he's gonna bring the Charizard in, right? Um, so, yeah. Well, unfortunately, I don't have anything to hit the Charizard. A Rock Slide would have been great in this position. But we see a Scizor. Okay, that changes some things. Um, hmm. Maybe we do follow me. No. Maybe we protect here and hit a fire punch on this thing. Indeedy uses protect. And what are we going to see the Sizor do? U-turn. Yeah, block. Good. Beautiful. Another sword stance. Man, this guy's getting greedy. Boop. That should get him. Wow. Wow. Okay, so... I just let him set up, which is not the greatest thing in the world. But I can bring the Incin out. And... I think I have to max Quake here. Yeah, I think I bring the Incin out. And then I max Quake. Um, because <clears throat> then he'll be at plus one, and I'm I'm just scared of that Charizard in the back. I know he has it in the back. I know you have it in the back. So you know, you can just kind of you can show it to me all you want, and then um, I I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. So here comes my Groudon. He did do the double swords dance. Um, which is pretty scary, if I were to say so myself. But here comes the U-turn. Uh, Sizor goes back. And maybe we'll see the Ensign come out first. I don't know. Or maybe we'll see the Charizard. Ensign, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, Incin and Voids. That's great. Groudon eats. That's beautiful. Here comes the Quake. Man, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> okay. I do get the special defense, which is which is big. Um. I think I have to parting shot it, right? Because now I'm kind of stuck. Now I'm kind of stuck here, but I think. Oh, great. We see the max. So that's actually, that's actually good. That's actually good. He 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 commits to maxing that, so we don't have to worry about a Charizard, um, which is what I was scared about. Um, so let's see if I can get this Groudon. Oh, yeah, we have Psychic Terrain. I don't know what you're talking about. We see the max. Oh man, that's gonna that might get it. Oh no. Uh. 
All right. I think we're I think we're comfortable here. Cause I hit I get the citrus berry off. He probably has a citrus berry too. So <clears throat> you know that's kind of what I'm scared about. But here comes my max quake. And he's gonna eat the citrus berry. Right? No, we don't see the citrus berry. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Okay. So then Indidi is gonna come back out. And Indidi, my friends, will be the sacrificial lamb. <laughs> uh, Indidi will be the sacrificial lamb, for sure. Because uh, I don't want to get another. Does Max Flare do more damage? Max Flare might actually do more damage here in the sun. No, because it's not stab. 1.5. I should. <sighs> Whatever. It's too late now. He could have a pinch berry too. So that's the other. That's kind of the other thing, right? Indiri uses follow me. And we're going to see the Max Quake come off. Which is fine. I'm fine with that. It's a crit. Which I'm not fine with. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That wouldn't have mattered anyways. But hopefully I can get a crit off on this thing. He's going to parting shot. Mm. Flare Blitz. Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine with that. Weirdness disappears. And here comes my Ensign. Here comes my Ensign. Great. So, Intimidate will come off. And at this point... I think I fake out the Ensign and I Precipice Blades because he can only do one thing. He can only attack one, one, th one thing. So here comes my fake out. Clap. And let's see who he targets. He's going to target my... my my Ensign. Okay, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. So, hopefully my Precipice Blades connects on both. Because he's raising his special defense. And that's not really doing much. Groudon avoids. Wow. That's not who I wanted to avoid. And the berry pops off. Okay. Well, I think, I think that's probably game then. Um... But, actually, is it game? Because his max is over. I go first. So as long as I can... Yeah, his max is over and I go first. So I, I'm going to Wicked Blow this. And Precipice Blades. And hopefully I can connect on the Ensign. Because I know my guy's faster. Yeah, I know my Groudon's faster. All right, here we go. It's coming down to it. Withdraws in sin. And we're going to see the Sizor. That's fine. That's fine by me. He just sacrificed his Sizor. He just sacrificed his Sizor. Hopefully this connects. Boom. Haha, <laughs> nice. So let's see what the last Pokemon he has is. I do have to double protect here because I don't want the, um, I don't want the sun, oh, the Venusaur. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah, so this is an easy double protect. Let the sun fade. Um, that's not really going to matter. Uh, 
detect and detect. Oh man, I mean, Vino is still very scary in this position, right? Um, you know, I don't know if I can one shot it with a wicked blow. But I do kind of get to scout what he's looking for, right? So, Giga Drain comes out, okay. Yeah, Flare Blitz comes out, okay. That's fine. Harsh Sunlight fades. So, I think I have to go for the Venu first. And then I go for the Precipice Blades. Because um, I know I'm faster than the Venu. I know I know my Urshifu is faster. Hopefully that can take it out. Uh, I will go down to a Sash at worst. Right? Wicked Blow comes out. No one shot. It's a crit though. Giga Drain comes out. That's fine. Oh, and we survive. That's huge right there. That is huge right there. So the Precipice Blades comes out. And that's that's game. <laughs> Beautiful. We take this. Wow. Wow, we take this. I mean, I don't know why you did that. Um, yeah, I don't really know why you did that. At this point in the game, you need to get damage off. So uh, I go close combat and fire punch. I go for the I go for the um, the hundred percent accuracy. Yeah, close combat. And he's gone. Sweet. And we'll take it. X Exophile? We'll take it against Exophile, whatever. Xyle, Xylf. So there you have it, folks. This is the team, and we just finished up battling in That's a Plus One's Plus Brawl number 12. Uh, overall, we only got 10 games in. Uh, I ended up taking a break and kind of talking to my dad a little bit and, you know, kind of dealing with some stuff, doing laundry and other stuff, but... Uh, 10 games in, went 7-3. and three. Uh, Unfortunately, uh, after my break, when I came back, I realized I wasn't recording maybe like 4 or 5 games in, so I didn't get some of those games recorded. Uh, but out of the 3 games we lost to, one was Xerneas and two were, um, two were the Eveltal. Uh, Eveltal wasn't the best matchup in this. It is a little bit of a scary Pokemon, and honestly, it's a really cool Pokemon that I think I'm going to end up using uh, and, and kind of making a new team around next. So uh, here's the team. Uh, I'm going to be uploading not only just this, um, you know, this kind of episode, but I'm also going to break it up into other episodes, probably like two or three episodes, because uh, we did get a lot of battles in and we did get a lot of battles recorded. I just don't want to have a lot of, um, you know, long episodes. So Thanks again as always. Uh, check out the team. I'm also going to be posting the Poke Paste and the rental code in the description below. Uh, definitely leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Uh, and, all, and as always, thanks for the support. You know, I definitely, uh, again, I got to my first 100 subscribers and uh, it's kind of the journey here and want to see how this grows from here. So um, thanks as always. Again, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the content and we will see you in the next episode. Peace.